Well, New Life for Old Bags is a community-based project that is collaborative, green, and also has a social dimension where we take the, the finished product to the homeless people in the Chicago area. Wow, New Life for Old Bags. Check this out. So tell me about how you turned old bags into new creation. Well, we go, Ruth's going to demonstrate. We take our plastic bag, any old grocery bag, or you can actually use uh, your dry cleaning bags. And you want to sort, fold, half and then half, so quarters. You then want to snip your ends. Three by three cardboard. Also, a sticky note works. It attaches itself if you've got lower ability. And discard the end. You are making strips. that you tie together. Yes, it is. Anybody can do this project. Kids, the elderly. All right, we got you tight. Make a T, put your right into your left, or I'm left hand and my left into my right. You want to make sure it's tight for the crocheter. So you want to taut. And you just continue to do that until you get your ball of plarn, which plarn? is, yes. Plastic yarn? Absolutely, that's it, it, Bianca. So then once you have your ball of yarn, what's next? Then you have your crocheters who then crochet into these fine looking, in this case, oh, oh homeless mats. Look at this. It's beautiful. It's like a tapestry in all the different colors. I think I see a target bag there. <laughs> wow. And are these pretty sturdy? I mean, can you walk on this? Yes, yes. Actually, we have, in our project, we have distributed over 197 mats to homeless people in the Chicago area wow. in the last year. And so they, they seem pretty cushiony. I mean, they seem like they're probably pretty nice to lay on. Absolutely. And they keep you dry. They retain cool in the summer and heat in the winter. Wow, I need one of these in my living room. Can I you, this one? You, no. <laughs> But, but can we can, yes, one. but you can join one of our groups and help yeah. us make one. Yeah. You know, I would recommend those of you who want to start this project with little kids or seniors, any different ability, because you can do it from sorting bags to folding bags, higher functioning, can actually, you can give scissors to, can cut the strips. And then we, at my facility where I have instigated this project, we, we take it to just the plarn stage. And then we found a group of ladies that love to crochet, and as you can see, are very artistic. So they make the mats then. You can also make, you can make bath mats. Wow, this is beautiful. This is as beautiful as some of the Camping mats. Wow. About 500 plastic bags are not in the environment in these mats. So you have taken something that's that's harmful to the environment, and you have given it a whole new life. Beautiful. Look at this pattern. This is gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous? And these are dry cleaning bags, and then the green uh, grocery bags for the uh, strip effect. So if you really want to get creative, you can just separate all your favorite colors. Exactly. And just use the entire color palette and create whatever design you want. That's right. I love it. So we're on Facebook, all right? Facebook slash NLOB. If you have any questions, you want to contact New Life for Old Bags. If you want to contact Ruth or myself, Scott, and we'll answer any questions, help you get started. You can do this at home. Girl Scout, Boy Scouts, nursing homes, you name it. Have people bring their bags in. But one, I say this, you want to have them, if anyone wants to donate bags, make sure they donate their time as well. You don't want to be a recycling center. This is a project that is community-based, collaborative, and good for the environment. Awesome. Thank you. Not bad, huh?